guys and hi and welcome back to another video here on my channel my name is Mallory if you're new here and I'm a flight attendant and I love sharing my life here on YouTube with all of y'all I think I have a couple of clips before this but I didn't really do a big intro or anything honestly it is so hard to find a quiet place to film in any of the airports because summer travel is officially here and the airports are just like filled with people and they're so busy which is good but yeah so yesterday I worked two legs we went from Houston to San Francisco sat for like three and a half hours which was long and then we came to Seattle we got to Seattle at about like one o'clock in the morning which is really um three o'clock in the morning my time so this trip isn't doesn't have any red eyes but it really felt like a red eye I think I went to bed um at 3 a.m. which was really like 5 a.m. my time so and we're actually in downtown Seattle which I'm so excited I've like never had our long Seattle layover they're kind of like few and far between um, so yeah I'm really excited to be here I've always wanted to go to Pike Place Market and just explore Seattle so I am going to go ahead and get ready for the day and see what we can get into and then this is a three-day trip, but it's got a long layover, so there's only two duty periods. Tomorrow we are going Seattle to Denver, Denver to Fort Lauderdale, and then Fort Lauderdale to Houston. That ends this three-day trip, and then I am supposed to start another three-day trip the next day. I kind of wish somebody would pick my trip up, but just no one is picking trips up. I already told you guys that like I'm working a lot this month, like way more than I'm used to. So if you work for my airline, pick up my trips please um, I love working but I definitely like to have more than just 12 days off um, just being a commuter um, those like extra two or three days like make all the difference so yeah let's go ahead and get ready for the day and I'll check in with you guys later just getting ready I got like my powder baking right now um, and I know the first order of business for today is to get some coffee as we are in Seattle, so of course, maybe go to the first Starbucks because I think it's supposed to be um, down at the Pike Place Market, so I'm excited. I'm actually gonna eat a little bit of lunch before I go just because I'm not super hungry yet, but I know as soon as I get outside, and start walking around, I'm gonna get hungry. So this is just um, some leftover salada. Well, now he's at, maybe you don't know, but I was at my parents' this past weekend for a wedding, and so I don't have my usual meal prep, um, but I really like to go to Salada and pick up a salad whenever I'm visiting my parents, but I'm about to start a work trip, but I don't want to grocery shop and meal prep and do the whole thing because I get salmon of mine, so that makes it more expensive, but it ends up being like $14, and I get like like at least two lunches out of it so it's kind of worth it to me Hey guys, I've just been walking around Pike Place and it is so cool. There's like a million little booths and shops and things to look at. Um, flowers are beautiful. I wish I wasn't working all day tomorrow and a trip after that or else I would totally get flowers and take some home because they're so beautiful. But yeah, I'm so glad I have this like Hey 
work from walking around Pike Place Market in downtown Seattle and I really enjoyed it. Lots of cool little vendors and shops and so much good food to eat. I went to Pike Place Chowder and evidently they're like world famous for their clam chowder but they also had like lots of other different kinds of chowder too but I just got the regular clam chowder in a bread bowl and it was so good. I had already eaten a little bit of salad for lunch because I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to eat my own food and not eat out, but I just had to. And then I got some cookies from a little bakery shop and I got a snickerdoodle cookie and a pumpkin cookie and let me just show you these. I already had some of the snickerdoodle cookie, just a few bites. But look how thick this cookie is. Yeah. And I just love pumpkin stuff and it's like so hard to find it, you know, this time of the year when it's like off season. So, oh, it smells so good. And I just can't believe how big it is. And then here is the Snickerdoodle one that I already got into. And it's huge. Like it's like the size of my head. But yeah, I had a little bit already. That's so good. Yeah. And then I did walk past a mall. And not that I need to shop or anything, but I was like, yeah, might as well just walk in. But they had a uni club and I've always wanted to visit one of those in person because I've looked online, but I've never shopped at one in person. But they just have a lot of really good basics. And so I got this little gray tee. I liked it because it's I have like a Skims gray tee and I like it a lot, but it's just like a little bit more like form fitting. So I got this one in a medium, so it'd be a little bit big. And then I got the same t-shirt in white. And this is the mini short sleeve t-shirt. So yeah, I got a white one and the gray one and I liked it because it's like thick enough to where it's like not see-through or anything and yeah. And then the last thing I got was these socks, I hope they're the right size. But I got these because like right now I'm wearing my little Steve Madden tennis shoes and I always wear like no show socks. Um, but they're, they fall down all the time because they literally only cover like your toe and your heel. And so I wanna get these because they go up high but they still go down so low in the ankle that you can't see them um, in your shoe. So I'm excited to try these. Um, but yeah, it was a really good day. Um, I had a good time just walking around. I got 8,214 steps, so pretty good. I was planning on going to the gym, but now I don't know if I will. I think I just want to finish my cookie. And then I have a video that I'm almost done editing. I've done like all the cuts and stuff. Um, and now I just need to like, um, mess with the sound, add, um, music to some parts and it'll be good to upload so i'm gonna rest a little bit because i'm so tired from walking everywhere it is 308 right now our pickup in the morning is 337 a.m so got about 12 hours left and i think i'm just gonna relax last day of this three-day trip we've got three legs today so it's gonna be a long one but we are going from Seattle to Denver Denver to Fort Lauderdale and then lastly Fort Lauderdale to Houston so our pickup this morning is 3 37 a.m. which I think is probably the earliest pickup I've ever had um, but really it's only 5 37 at home so not too bad uh, but still kind of hard to wake up this morning I was pretty tired and it's 3.09 right now, so I don't need to be downstairs for like another 15, 20 minutes or so. So I'm just going to finish my coffee. And I think I'm gonna have a little bit of my snickerdoodle cookie for breakfast. That's how you know it's good, because look at that like oil <laughs> and grease. But yeah, super good cookie. I wish I could remember the name of the place, but I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking about cookies. The middle of the cookies is like the best part. I love snickerdoodles. And y'all know I have another trip after this one. 
and originally I was gonna have 22 hours in New Orleans, which I was excited about, but the first day of that trip was a red eye, and I just was like, oh, I'm not ready to work a red eye yet. So I traded the trip again for one leg to Atlanta, 19 hours in Atlanta, and then the red eyes on the last day of this trip. So the last day I go, I think Atlanta, San Francisco, San Francisco, Houston. And I did this just because I wasn't ready to work a red eye tomorrow night yet. And this way I can take the very first flight out home um, on the last day of my trip. Originally my trip ended at like 10.55 in the morning, my old trip. And so I would have been able to take the second flight out at home um, but this one just gets me on the first flight. So I'm still not excited to work that red eye, but um, I'm excited to have 19 hours in Atlanta. I haven't had the long Atlanta layover in a really long time. Okay, hey guys, it is the next day and I know I didn't really check in with y'all yesterday. I think I filmed a few clips in the morning when I was getting ready to work the last day of my three day trip. And honestly, the day went really, really well until my very last leg. So we were going from Seattle to Denver Denver to Fort Lauderdale and then Fort Lauderdale to Houston and that was the end of our three-day trip and first flight super easy it was like a 5 a.m. flight so everyone's sleepy they're just resting on the flight it was only like two hours long and then the second flight that was the long one Denver to Fort Lauderdale it was like four hours long and um, but the flight went really well and then at the end I noticed that it looked like our flight plan had like changed or something because I keep track of like how long the flight is, how long is left on the flight. And it looked like it had kind of like recalculated and it was saying we were landing in zero minutes. And I knew we were not landing in zero minutes. We should have had like 30 or 35 minutes left in flight. And so I'm like, I'm pretty sure our pilots just got like a holding pattern or something like that. And so right now their computers are like rebooting, recalculating, and they're giving us like a new, um, landing time so I was right they did assign us like a holding pattern but then they took us out of it and they said just kidding you can land in Fort Lauderdale I guess there were some storms it was raining um, and then we got there and the tarm or the ramp was closed and what happens whenever the ramp is closed so anytime there is a lightning strike within a certain mile radius of the airport they have to shut down the ramp because obviously if there's lightning around it is not safe for our ramp workers to be out there so we got to fort lauderdale and we deplaned and then we started boarding for our next flight we kept the same plane all day which sometimes it's nice but then sometimes you literally feel like you have no concept of time because you've literally just been on the same metal tube all day long so we were pretty tired but um even though there was like weather and stuff we were able to board on time and we were planning on like pushing on time and everything and then the ramp closed so we could not get our catering and we had to get our catering because you know that flight has a meal for our first class passengers and we needed all that stuff um and then the ramp opened so we we're able to get catered and then we were finally able to go but then there were storms in Houston and Captain told me that our wheels up time was not for another hour and a half. And so then I had to tell everyone and to keep them updated, which lots of people come from like smaller airports like Fort Lauderdale to like bigger ones like Houston because they are connecting to other places, international, domestic, they are going all over the place. And so anytime weather stuff like this happens, of course, everyone is really worried about their connections. So that's never fun having to be like the bearer of bad news because I know how expensive flights are and how important it is to get to where you're going whenever you need to get there. So, but eventually, we had a window of opportunity. We were able to leave. We were able to land in Houston. And we did have a bit of a tarmac delay once we got to Houston because then once again, the Houston ramp was closed and our plane that was occupying our gate or the plane that was occupying our gate could not push because the ramp was closed. Then it finally opened and I think we only got there like 30 or 45 minutes late. But the good thing about like when the ramp closes is that yes the plane that you're on to go to your connection like you're late but your connection is probably going to be delayed too so anytime you're like worried about missing your connection ask the flight attendant like why you're delayed because if it if it's because of the ramp 
or weather, it's so likely that your connection is going to be delayed too. So you don't have to worry sometimes whenever it's because of reasons like that and you have a good chance of making your connection. But so it's a new day. I'm starting another three day trip and let's see where we're going. It is a fake three day trip because we've got a long layover and a red eye, my favorite, you guys know. Um, I did try to get rid of this trip, but sadly nobody wanted my 11 hour fake three day with a red eye. I couldn't believe it. Um, but so tonight we are working one leg to Atlanta. 19 and a half hour layover in downtown Atlanta and then the next day of this trip we are going Atlanta to San Francisco and then the San Francisco to Houston red eyes so that's a doozy um I'm gonna be really tired but I'm gonna try so hard to take a nap tomorrow I usually can't nap it's really hard for me my like my like time my clock inside me is just like so stubborn I can't stay up too late, I can't sleep too late, I like to sleep when it's dark, I like to be up when it's light, and it's really hard for me to take naps, but I'm going to try. Um, I did get like a Celsius to drink on that red eye. All I did last night after we got in, I think we landed around eight o'clock, we were supposed to be in at like 6.30, so that kind of was not fun, but I literally just picked up Popeyes, because Popeyes is like my go-to comfort meal. If I have a bad day, or if I just have a long day, or if I'm just tired, or yeah, if I am like missing home, I don't know. It's just when I need to pick me up, I go to Popeyes and I get a crispy chicken sandwich, classic, no mayonnaise, and the blackened ranch on the side, and french fries, you gotta get french fries. So good, turned my night totally around. And then I slept really well, I slept like eight and a half hours. And then this morning I had myself a little morning too. I first, I went to Target, I got a couple like random groceries, I got a coffee, I walked around Target and just had myself a morning. And then I picked up some kava to have for dinner later. So yeah, I had a good morning and I had every intention of vlogging, but then I left my camera at my crash pad. So I've got to stop doing that. I need to like put a little tag like on my wrist that says get your camera because it's when I'm home and whenever I'm at my crash pad, like whenever I'm home or whatever, I just forget about my camera. But yeah, let's go to work. Okay, hi you guys, we are here in downtown Atlanta. Flight was really easy getting here. It was like an hour and a half. Service went really smooth and we only had about 70 passengers in the back. So it was pretty light. Um, I'm gonna show you guys around my room and try to show you guys the view. I'm not sure how good you'll be able to see it, but this is a great hotel, great location, and I'm gonna show you all around. Okay, so here is the restroom. Nice shower. I actually really don't like the like rainfall shower heads. Let me know if you don't either. I think they are kind of annoying, but nice shower. Here is the vanity. And then a full length mirror, which is always nice. And here is our room. Kind of got all my stuff set out. This little mini fridge, which is perfect. And then I love how we have this big wall of windows. You can kind of see the city. I'll show you all in the morning though, whenever you can see better. Yeah, it's Friday night in Atlanta. Good morning you guys. Just woke up and I slept really well. Let's look at my Fitbit and see how long I slept. I'm like crazy about sleep. I don't know why. Like I'll think I slept okay and then if I look at my Fitbit and it says I didn't sleep okay, I like get in my head and I'm like, wow, that wasn't that great. Okay, that was good. I slept eight hours and 35 minutes and they gave me a sleep score of 85. So yeah, now I don't have to have a bad day because my Fitbit said I slept well, so. It's 11.40 here, but it's 10.40 at home. So I slept till about 10 o'clock central time. That's pretty good. That's really late for me because usually I only sleep until like eight o'clock whenever I sleep in. So I might go to the gym and if I do, I'll take you guys with me. But for now, I did just finish a little smoothie bowl. I think y'all saw. So there it is. <laughs> 
I get these ones from Target. So I had one yesterday too, and it was the Target brand. This one is from a brand called, I think, Tattooed Chef, and it's the almond butter banana bowl or something. It's so good. And then yesterday I had like the dragon fruit one from uh, Good and Gather, which is like the Target brand, and it was so good too. And they come frozen, and you can like let them thaw out. Um, like in the fridge or at room temperature and they're so good and I always look for the ones that don't have added sugar because I'm like fruit is already sweet there's no need to add sugar but so good and I just finished the Vanderpump Rules reunion it was it was juicy they weren't lying um, but yeah I'm just going to hang out and I'll let you guys know if I do anything else let's see if my commute still looks good I should get to Houston at like 6.30 in the morning. And then the first flight that goes to where I live is until like 10.30. So I will have to just kind of hang out for a little while. Okay, here's the smoothie bowl I was talking about. And we have to write our name and our the date on all of our food at the crash pad. But yeah, almond butter banana smoothie bowl. And it's by Tattooed Chef. So good. Okay guys, so there's a Starbucks in the lobby, which is really nice. So I got a little brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso, which I don't usually get like fun sweet drinks, but that's perfect. Sometimes you just have to treat yourself. I like to get them with like half of the pumps of whatever syrup, because sometimes it's just overpowering whenever you do the full amount of pumps, but this is perfect. And this hotel is huge, so I had to ask where the gym was because I could not find it anywhere. Um, there's like 45 or 50 floors on this hotel, so it's on floor number nine. So after I finish that, I'm probably going to head to the gym. Okay guys, I just got back from working out and now I'm gonna go downstairs and heat up some lunch. This is just steak and green beans. And then I'm going to try and take a nap. It's 3.02 right now, pick up is 6.32. I really wanna try to take a nap, but I shouldn't have had an espresso drink this morning. Why did I do that? I was not thinking, because now I definitely won't be able to go to sleep. But I don't know if I'm gonna drink all of this, but I'm gonna drink some of it. One of my best friends just got engaged to her now he's her fiance and they've been together since we were in seventh grade and now they're getting married i'll show you guys her ring it's so beautiful how gorgeous is that it's exactly what she wanted to it's like an emerald cut with a gold band oh it's so beautiful i love it but yeah i'm so happy for them so excited for her so hopefully we'll be planning a wedding soon. I'm pretty much already for work and I'm actually kind of early today. It's 6.05 and I don't have to be downstairs until 6.32. So we've got two flights. We are going from Atlanta to San Francisco. I think that's gonna be like four and a half hours. And then we are going from San Francisco to Houston on the all-nighter and that's probably gonna be about three and a half hours. So. Let's get these two flights out of the way and then I'm off for three days. And I can't remember if I showed you guys the view with the sun out, so I'm gonna show you all that now. Okay, so here is our view. It's so beautiful. It's a gorgeous day in Georgia. Hey okay, guys, I'm here in San Francisco and this lighting is terrible, but oh well. So I worked Atlanta to San Francisco. The flight was really good. It was four hours and 31 minutes. But unfortunately, now we are delayed in San Francisco. Our plane is coming in late, so obviously we cannot leave with without our plane. I think there was like a maintenance issue in Houston. Our plane came from Houston, um, and I was checking out the flight, and it looked like there was maintenance. So hopefully they've got that all fixed and squared away, and that won't be an issue for us now, because as of now, we are delayed, I believe, 50 minutes or an hour. Um, yeah, our plane's not gonna land for quite a while but I'm close to the gate I went to the crew room for a little bit I ate some popcorn and now we just sit and wait and I think we're gonna get in like 20 or 30 minutes later than we we're supposed to now but hopefully it doesn't get any more delayed and we can go home 
San Francisco is like a ghost town this late at night. It's so crazy. And right now my suitcase is so heavy because I have so much extra clothes that I don't usually travel with. So I'm dying to get this thing home and unpack it. The good thing about the airport being so empty right now is I can talk to my camera at a gate and not feel weird because there's like no one around me. Hey guys, I'm finally home. I'm so happy. I got on my flight just fine and it is It's 12 31 central right now. So I've been awake for 27 hours, I think yeah, and I had had that makeup on my face for probably like 16 hours So I took a shower. I got all my skincare on I'm feeling so good and I have some ice cream that I'm going to eat in bed This is the milk bar birthday cake and we actually have like little cookie versions of this that we serve internationally and they come on our like little crew meal tray so we get one too and they are so good so when i saw the ice cream i was like i've got to try it it's delicious and i was really happy that josh did not eat all my ice cream when i was gone because he is notorious for doing that so i'm gonna be bad <laughs> and eat my ice cream in bed josh hates when i eat in bed but just stuff with crumbs and ice cream doesn't have crumbs so it's okay but yeah, I'm gonna eat some ice cream, watch some TV, and relax. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and end this video off here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time here on my channel. Bye, y'all.